Hello and welcome again to our continuing series on BMC TrueSight Operations Management Application Visibility Java Installation. Up to now in the first four videos you've seen that we've gotten the Java, we've applied it to our WebLogic server, and we've verified that it comes up and runs. Well now the rest of this is going to be dedicated to verifying that it works and tuning that agent on the server. In our previous video, we got you so far as to see that you could connect to the application visibility agent and see the data on the TrueSight presentation server. But now that we see that we have the data, we can look at it a little bit more in depth. And we see that at this point it's red. So to try and figure out what's going on with this, uh, you can drill down and see we do have business transactions that are occurring, but we actually have no errors because it hasn't done any performance or availability tuning, so it doesn't really have a baseline set. So we need to go figure out why are there red indications on our web server at this point. So one thing you can do is go to the problems section and drill down to that area. What you'll find is you'll get messages like the thread pool used is high and the memory usage maybe also be high as well. These are indicative of resource constraints that we're using on the server. If you go back to the installation instructions for application visibility, you'll drill down and find there's a step at the very bottom that we didn't do because it's a bit more complicated. We need to add about 256 megabytes of heap size or RAM so that we can load and run our application visibility agent. You'll notice when the system comes up, you'll see that it has about a start heap size of 256 meg and a max heap size of 512 meg. So we need to augment that about 256 meg so that we can run our agent successfully without starving the system for resources. This is true of any other system that you load. You'll need to add an extra 256 megabytes to the max heap size. So let's go drill down into our server area for Medrec under the Oracle middleware, Oracle Home, User Projects, Domains, Medrec, and then back to the bin directory where we started Start Web Logic. You'll find there's a set domain environment.cmd file. And that's where we're going to set the environment variables that we need for the heap size. Scrolling on through this file, basically you'll go down to where these XMS and XMX settings are set. And notice there's a couple spots where they're set. So you have sort of a global variable, and then you have specific variables that are set for machine specific. So what we want to do is go ahead and preserve these so we can remember what they were before. So I always copy them before I change them in the file. Make a backup of them, and then we can go and set them to the appropriate settings that we want. So again, we want to change and add 256 megabytes, but we can also increase it higher than that if we feel like we're going to be doing higher volumes. So in this case, I'm just going to double it, make it 1024. That's completely legal. You can get away with that. And likewise, I'm going to do it on the inside of the HP side, just in case I don't know what type of hardware this is actually going to be running on. And there you have it. Save that file out. And now we stop and restart our server. And then we can verify that the new heap sizes have been caught. So go back to our start weblogic command. Execute that as administrator. And now we can go back and see that the new size for the max heap size is 1024 as we entered in that file. So perfect, we've caught that. And now we should have no more problems with heap size on our test server. Server comes up, go ahead and exercise it a little bit. And after you exercise it a couple times, that you'll find that it should go away. And now your heap size and your thread pool counts should now normalize and you're back to green. Well, that summarizes how you can tune the server for appropriate sizing and for RAM usage. So thank you very much for sitting through this series on Java implementation for application visibility.